Hi everyone, I am Arun Julkar. Today we will discuss PMT and community principal function. PMT is used to calculate periodical payment and community principal function is used to calculate amount outstanding at the beginning of any period. Now we will discuss PMT and community principal function using example. Miss X took a loan of Rs. 60 lakh to be paid in 10 years by equal monthly installments. The interest charge is 10.5% compounded monthly. Find the monthly payment and the principal outstanding at the beginning of third year. Here we want to calculate monthly installment first. Monthly installment means we can say EMI. EMI means equated monthly installment. Present value loan is 60 lakh. Rate of interest 10.5% which is compounded monthly. So M equals to 12 and the number of years are 10. We can calculate EMI using formula or using PMT function. So first using formula equal principal amount whole multiplied by rate of interest divided by M whole divided by 1 minus 1 plus rate of interest divided by m whole raised to the power minus m multiplied by t and the answer is 80,961 rupees this is the EMI amount we can calculate the same EMI using PMT function but remember that whenever we talk about function Inflow always be positive and outflows are always in negative. Loan amount is inflow, so it is positive. And when you talk about EMI, it is an outflow, so answer will come in negative. Now in PMT function, first we take rate, number of periods, present value, future value and type. Type means when you talk about payment made at the end of period, type is 0. When the payment made at the beginning of the period, type is 1. Here we are making payment at the end of period. Or end of month, this means type is 0. Equal PMT function, click on this function, rate R divided by M, comma number of periods M multiplied by T, present value, comma future value is not here, leave it, and the type is 0. Enter and we get the same amount 80,961 rupees, but in negative because PMT is an outflow. Now we want to calculate principal leftover at the beginning of third year, or we can say principal outstanding at the beginning of third year. Third year means we are standing at the beginning of 25th month, so K is 25. Now we can calculate principal. Outstanding at the beginning of 25th month using formula or using community principal function. First using formula equal R. R is a EMI amount. This is EMI, EMI amount multiplied by 1 minus 1 plus rate of interest divided by M whole raised to the power minus m multiplied by t plus k k is 25 minus 1 and the whole divided by R divided by M. And the answer is 52 lakh 43,582 rupees and 45 pesa. We can calculate same answer using community principal function. In community principal function, first we take rate, number of period, present value, start period. Start period means from where we want to calculate the EMI, or like sorry, principal amount. And end period, last installment payment period and the type. Type again 0 or 1 if you are making payment at the end of the period or at the beginning of the period. So using cumulative principal function equal 
community principal function click on the function rate r divided by m comma number of periods m multiplied by t comma principal amount comma k stand for beginning of which month it is beginning of 25th month comma total number of periods or n periods are m multiplied by t and the type is 0 and see that answer is same 52 lakh 43,582 rupees and 45 pesa but answer is negative because it is in outflow so I think it's clear PMT function and community principle function